Good day brothers and sisters, so today we will be going over how to nano coat uh, using a crock pot. Now after the most recent GANS harvest it's been decided that I'm going to go ahead and, and scale the production to a smaller scale now uh, till we can get the kinks worked out and then we'll work it out from there. So in this process we're going to be using eight three inch by six inch plates. We basically took the six inch plates we were using before and cut them in half. So now we're dealing with eight three by six. Uh, we will have a galvanized aluminum mesh that will be used for the bottom of the crock pot. This will basically elevate the plates off the bottom so that they're not making contact with the water. Then we have this piece of acrylic. Um, it's a quarter inch acrylic. We basically cut it down and put it together to be able to sit the copper plates on top of it. This will allow the copper plates to sit inside the crock pot vertically and provide enough gapping in between so that way it can be evenly coated. Now, if you don't have access to build something like this, um, I have seen people online that will take copper wiring and basically hang the plates inside the crock pot. So you can do that too, where you would basically just run a copper wire from in here, go through the inside, wrap it through all the plates and then come back on the other side and then do the same on the opposite side coming back so you'll just kind of have them all hanging in there that is totally possible too so got all that covered um, we are going to be using this brand of household lye now check the label if you look at the top product contains sodium hydroxide caustic soda lye Lye, caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, it's all the same stuff, just different name. Um, this particular brand can be found at Home Depot, or not Home Depot, at Ace Hardware. Um, however, like I said, it's as long as it's 100% lye, you'll be fine. Worst case scenario, Drano crystals. It does work, I have used it before. Um, I prefer not to use it anymore just because I have access to this now. So... Like I said, worst case scenario, Drano crystals will work. So we've got that covered. We're going to be using 50 milliliters. I don't think you can really see spinning around. We have 50 milliliters of caustic soda to three cups of boiling hot water. So let's go ahead and start putting everything together. So the copper plates have been put in their little contraption to kind of sit them upright. This will give you an idea of how they're going to be sitting inside. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our 50 milliliters of caustic soda just kind of evenly put it around in there. We'll do the best you can to make it even. Now we will take the mesh place that in the bottom and for the next step we will take the copper plates and sit them in the bottom we are going to attempt to do this one handed and there we go So now we will basically go ahead and heat up our water and set the crock pot on warm. If you put it on low or high, it'll still work perfectly fine, but the temperature actually gets to the point where you're going to evaporate a lot more of the water. So I've found that just keeping it on warm is sufficient. So we'll just go ahead and stick with that. Alright, so our hot water is... Now boiling, and let us go add it to the crock pot. So this part's pretty self-explanatory, just um, keep a little bit open, just enough to be able to allow you to pour in the hot water. 
Safety first. Always make sure you're wearing gloves. If you have access to a mask, that would be great too. And that's it. Crock pot is set to warm. It is now 10:30 a.m. exactly. Uh, we will check this again in about three hours and see what we're looking at. Okay, so it's been about three hours now. Um, so you can see we actually ended up having to turn the temperature up. Um, we're in Colorado and it's in the mid 20s right now, so. Um, it's not really boiling when we're keeping it on the warm setting. So I went ahead and bumped it up to high. Now it's a little difficult to see through the glass, but it's um, definitely getting darker. The bottom half is most noticeable. Let's see if I can get a good... Uh, you know, we'll go ahead and crack this open just for a quick second, just so you can take a look. You can definitely see how that one's already turning black and they're all working on it so we'll go ahead and uh, leave this in here for a few more hours um, I'll say I'll probably give it about a another six to nine hours and we'll check it again later tonight it is now 530 so it's been about seven hours since we started this um, originally we were gonna check after about three hours um, I did check and well the crock pot was outside. It was about 30 some odd degrees. So keeping it on warm wasn't really doing a whole lot. The water wasn't even bubbling. So went ahead and set it up on very high and left it outside for a few hours. Um, we're just now bringing it in now. It's been seven hours and temperature's dropping outside. So I think we're going to keep it inside and just keep a vent on it. But uh, for now, we can already see that the plates are definitely starting to turn black, that's for sure. Let's see if we can really see it. It's mostly dark on the bottom, and then it's kind of spotted on the top. This side's pretty dark as well too. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run, basically till I'm getting ready to go to bed. And then we'll go ahead and pull everything out, wash everything off really quick, and then we'll flip all the plates upside down, and we'll leave them going overnight on the warm setting, and we'll see what we have in the morning. So, uh, we might do another update this evening when I go ahead and pull these out, and we'll just add it onto this. Okay, so it has now been 10 hours since we started nano coating the copper plates. Um, you know, check it out now and you can see that the outside plates are pretty much completely covered um, the center plates eh, man maybe about 70 percent 75 percent done so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is pull the plates out go ahead and dump everything out completely clean it out uh, we'll go ahead and set it up for a second steam bath and we'll let it sit on low overnight and we'll check back on it in the morning. Okay, so took the plates out, washed them, dried them, and set them back up in the rack and you can see that they're pretty much about a good 70% covered at least. So the plates have been flipped upside down. And now we'll go ahead and put this back in the crock pot. So we've got the 50 milliliters of caustic soda in the bottom. Put the grate back in and put all the plates back in. Now we are just waiting for the hot water to finish boiling and we'll add it to the mix. Well, the hot water is now boiling. So we'll go ahead and pour this in. Now 
now we'll go take this back to the uh, to the housing and we'll go ahead and set it on low overnight hello and good morning everyone so it's been a total of about 10 to 12 hours since we did the last bath last night the steam and let's see what we're looking at right now so we can see well, looks like there's a couple parts are still a little coppery um, so well, it looks like we'll have to do another bath today but for the most part they're looking pretty dark let's see here yeah still that looks completely done this one as well so we'll go back in here, I'm going to pull all these plates out and go through, wash them all off, uh, clean all this out, and I think we should be good after one more bath, one more steam. So, we'll go ahead and clean this up and report the updates later. Okay, so we went ahead and just took the plates out of the uh, caustic steam. Uh, the caustic steam was on high for about six hours, and after that point I went ahead and turned it off and... It's basically just been sitting there turned off for the past uh, probably about another four hours now. Um, so just pulled the plates out and the back half of the plates are, are pretty much completely black. So the side there the surface that's facing up right now is what still needs to be coated. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in another steam and we're gonna go ahead and leave it on warm for the evening and we'll just go ahead and leave it running on warm all night and uh, we'll check it again in the morning so it's been about another 24 hours now um, and I've been kind of uh, flipping back and forth between uh, keeping it warm and going to low and they're pretty much done now I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out in a second but So we're going to go ahead and pull them out and get a better look at them. Alright, so we went ahead and took all the uh, copper plates out and we washed them off. And they look like they're done to me. Really, really dark. And it's just as coated on the opposite side as well too. So Now... That acrylic piece, yeah, it, um, it didn't hold out too well. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do another run tonight. I actually just printed up another piece to replace this. And um, I'm going to run another batch and just leave it on, keep warm. And we'll see how long the water lasts and we'll see how long it takes to uh, coat. So. All right, round two. So it is midnight on January 20th. Uh, we just finished pulling out the other nano-coated copper plates a few minutes ago. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and run a second batch. Now with this one, did something a little different. Went ahead and pulled out the uh, old mesh and made a new one for it so it, it could sit a little more elevated. Um, there's a new acrylic tray since the other one was melting um, <laughs> this one already broke so we're gonna see how long it actually holds up should be fine though um, eight new copper plates and we're going to set the uh, temperature on this one for very warm and we're just gonna pretty much just let it go and see how long it takes just sitting on that setting before it either is completely nano coated or it runs out of water so we will see. So for now, let's go ahead and start pouring some water in.
So, hello and good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, January 21st. It's actually the very next morning. Um, last step we had here, we actually started the second batch of uh, copper plates to be nano coated. Now, I guess we really see what a difference aluminum foil will do. In the first caustic steam that I did, there was no aluminum foil used. And that one took a total of about two days to be able to get them, you know, nice and black on all sides. Last night, I decided to mix a little extra aluminum foil in the mix to the point where the whole bottom was almost covered with aluminum foil. And the difference is pretty noticeable. It's been, let's see here, it's 8 o'clock in the morning right now, so... It's been about eight hours. Yeah, I say about nine hours. It's been about nine hours, and um, crock pot has been left on keep warm, so we never had to increase the temperature to low or high. And let's look at these plates already. From what I've seen, that little spot right there of copper is really the only copper I could see so far. For the most part, it's it's all black now. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull these out, rinse out the crock pot, and we'll go ahead and prep one more uh, steam bath just to go ahead and uh, make sure it's completely covered. Then again, I haven't pulled out all the plates yet, too. Um, temperature's been kept on keep warm all night so as you can see even the acrylic tray that's on the bottom remains untouched so I guess we found the trick for this uh, this steam bath use lots of aluminum foil and should be good to go okay so I went ahead and pulled the plates out and kind of rinsed them off and yeah you can pretty much see they're uh, they're pretty much all black now there are spots that um, need to be touched up, like you can see these corners here. And that's actually just the, uh... there we go. And those are just the areas where the plates were actually sitting on the plastic. Um, there is one piece of copper that's exposed right there. But for the most part, that's, that's the worst of it all. Um, they're all pretty much done. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to go ahead and prep the crock pot for another steam. And, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, let this cook off for another few hours. And I think I might go ahead and put a piece of silver in there to start nano coating it as well too. So we'll go ahead and knock all that out now. Okay, so quick update. I went ahead and put the uh, caustic soda. That's how much aluminum foil I ended up putting in. Um, another update too, I completely forgot about. I did put a little more caustic soda last night than I than I normally did in the first bath. The first one I did 50 milliliters. This time I pretty much just eyeballed it. Um, I just put enough caustic soda so it covered the entire bottom. Um, so, yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and drop these plates in and let it sit for the next few hours. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the um, piece of silver that I wish to nano coat as well too, and uh, we'll let this go. Thank you. All right, so we went ahead and just pulled the copper plates out of the crock pot. Um, these ones have been sitting in the crock pot for going on 36 hours now. Um, this was the second batch, and we did this one differently in the sense that we used a little more caustic soda. Um, added aluminum foil this time and instead of bouncing the heat back and forth basically just left it sitting at very warm so the water never ran out and basically just kinda of left it in there um, they were pretty dark after the first 24 hours so what I went ahead and did was I spent 12 or not the first 24 first 12 hours so the first night we went ahead and left them in for 12 hours, put them in 11 o'clock that night. The next morning, uh, we went ahead and took all the plates out, cleaned them all off, cleaned out the crock pot, flipped the plates upside down, 
and then put it back in for another 24 hours on keep warm. So you can see they're already pretty dark. Now let's look at it in comparison to the first batch. The ones on the left are the ones that were just pulled out today, the second batch. And now if we look at the ones on the right, these are from the first batch. And remember the first batch was in there for basically 48 hours, but it was a lot of bouncing back and forth between the heats. Sometimes it would be in high, sometimes on low, sometimes on warm. And um, there was no aluminum foil used in this batch and less caustic soda, not to mention I think we steamed it probably three or four times in those 48 hours. So left side, aluminum foil, a little more caustic soda, kept it on very warm, low warm the whole time and only switched out the steam baths um, once in the middle of those the, that 36 hours. So it looks like we're going to go with the, um, the formula for the second batch and we'll see if we can't replicate these results and build a tutorial for it. So have a good evening everyone.